Hey everyone, how you doing? I'm in my garage and uh, ha, that is a picture of my brother and me as a little guy. Anyways, uh, my son snowboards. Anyways, it's a garage. It's junk. Anyways, I don't know much. Here's what I do know. Here's what I'm thinking. We humans have been through a lot lately. And I'm going to go back to the election. I'm going to go back to the hurricanes, Houston, Puerto Rico. I'm going to go back to last week, Vegas. I actually went to high school in Vegas, if you didn't know, junior high and high school in Vegas. And now we have fires in Cali. Those seem to happen yearly, but... Um, pretty big in Northern California, and then I think we have some fires in Anaheim. So I don't know much. I don't like seeing people suffer um, or go through hardship. And at the same time, I can't help but talk about or think about why is this happening? Why is all this happening? Why is all this happening? And I'm coming to the conclusion that my original belief about things happening to us versus for us is uh, true on the latter side, meaning things happen for us. And if I'm able to put some positive spin on all of this, I would say that maybe... Maybe we humans are going through such a rough spell right now, not so that we can prove who's wrong or who's right, Republican, Democrat, liberal, Green Party, Tea Party, uh, BYOB Party, I don't know. Maybe it's not to say that uh, you can't identify as this gender or that race. I don't, I don't think that's why all this stuff is going on. I actually think, actually no, I'm choosing to believe, I'm choosing to believe that all this stuff is going on to prove one big cosmic energetic point. This is not science based, <laughs> this is just me talking straight out of belief, what's in my heart. I think the big cosmic energetic reason why all this stuff is going on is because it is to prove the point that once we get past race, once we get past money, once we get past gender, once we get past political party, that we humans all bleed, we all hurt, we all celebrate, we all rejoice. So I don't know much, but here's what I do know. I do know when the hurricanes hit, people got into action to help other people. I do know that when that a-hole unleashed a firestorm in Vegas, people got into action to help other people. I do know that last night, as fires were raging in Northern California, and fires are raging now in Northern California and in Orange County, that people are getting into action. I do know that. And I think, and I'm choosing to believe, that once we get past all of that shit that we talk on FB about who's right and who did this and who did that and the names we call each other and the petty things that we talk about because we have the luxury to do so. We have the luxury to talk about how bad the weather is. We have the luxury to talk about the fact that a president isn't helping me personally. We have the luxury of talking about so many things that we forget at the end of the day, the greatest equalizer is not taxes. It is death. And it is coming, and we do not know when. So 
if it is coming and we do not know when, the question is, what are we going to do with our time? And I've asked this question before. And all of those tragic events that have happened, hurricanes, fires, even the election to some people, people get into action to help other people. I'm not going to count the election as tragic, but emotionally for some people tragic. But the bottom line is when your life is threatened and things are on the line, money doesn't matter. The car you drive doesn't matter. Your job doesn't matter. Your political affiliation doesn't matter. What matters is life itself. What can I do right now to save my life and help these other people save theirs? How can we get out of this safely? So my question to you is, why do we wait, we, all of us, me included, wait for some stuff to go down so that we can get into action? Why do we wait for a catastrophe, an earthquake, a fire, a hurricane, a tragedy for us to get into action. Why do we do that? When getting into action, right? Think about that. When we get into action, what are we? We are in the moment, we are living, and we are not only there for ourselves, but we're there for other people, especially when there's a tragedy. Tragedy, excuse me. That's life. I'm not saying life is tragic. I'm saying that's living. Excuse me. Right? Being in the moment, moment and getting into action. So I'd like to propose this to my Facebook team, to my Facebook family, and to those that dare listen to what I say. I would like to propose that we choose to believe, right? We choose to believe because we have the power the human power, thank you, Dr. Josh Hant, uh, listen to his podcast, Lifestyle Locker. We have the power to choose to believe, and I'm choosing to believe, and I want you all to choose to believe with me that maybe all of this stuff is happening for us so that the conversation can change, so that our actions can change, so that we can get over, excuse me, get over all of the stuff that we haven't seemed to get over yet. And I'm not trying to be on a high horse. I'm not trying to be on a higher ethical, moral playground level, uh, moral ground than anyone else. I'm in the muck too. I do my best, but if I'm being honest, I get caught up in it too. So, lesson for today is to get into action for someone else. They are in need of help offer the helping hand. If they are hurting, offer a band-aid or a way to help them be better. If someone is hungry, feed them. If someone needs some money, do your best to loan what you can without any regard for whether or not it may not come it may come back or not lots of stuff going down a lot of stuff going on and we humans are capable of so so much we put planes in the sky we put people on the moon we light up buildings with the flick of a switch i got to think I choose to think, I choose to believe that all of this stuff that happens, happens for us. We will be better for it on the other side. I ask you to heed my words, take those into heart and slow down just a second. And because uh, we're all connected in this. I'm, I guarantee if you're listening to this, you know somebody who was affected in Vegas, you know somebody who was affected in Houston, you know somebody who was affected in Puerto Rico, you know somebody who was affected in Northern California, you know somebody who's affected in Anaheim. I guarantee you know somebody. And I'm not talking like six degrees Kevin Bacon stuff. I'm talking like one, two degrees, maybe three. There's a lesson in all of this. And like I say, I choose to believe this is all happening for us. I choose to believe that this is all happening to show us that in the end, 
Only one thing matters. One thing. And it ain't affluence. It ain't influence. All right. That's all I got. As you know, I do love you guys. Catch me on my website, drjasonrichardson.com, or on Facebook, as always. You know I will do my best to respond to you. Gold Medal Mindset Podcast, and uh, bring me in to speak. And uh, let's get through this. Peace.